Hi everyone, it's Graham from Dent Detail and today we're going to do this pretty big dent, pretty nasty body line damage on a, this Kia Rio. Uh, we don't know what happened to this, customers came out to it, big horrible dent right on top of the uh, rail. Uh, where this is, there's uh, no access to the back of the panel, so I'm going to remove this all with glue pulling. I'm going to use the uh, Kiko Level 2E GPR system take all this out from the outside. Uh, the paint works pretty good. There's uh, no scratches, scuffs on it anywhere really. I'll give it a polish before we start and then a polish afterwards, but uh, you can look at the orange peel there. It's, uh, it's pretty even, pretty tidy. So uh, it's gonna take a bit of work. The main big dent, you can see right on the top there through the light, and then it's pushed the body line out and created a bit of a low spot around here. So that's going to take a bit of work, that'll be a bit solid that, but nothing there I don't think we can't fix. And, um, we'll look at the tools I'm going to use from the uh, Level 2E system here. Mainly going to be looking at some of the uh, maybe super tabs, one of the flex ones and then some of the more flexible ones at the side there. Probably use these killer at some point on uh, one of the standard robo lifters. Um, everything we need to tackle that dent is on there. So we'll uh, let's get going. Once we've got the LED light placed over the damaged area, it really shows up what we've got to work with. Um, you can see the main big dent there is pretty deep, highlighted there. It stretches from the top to the, just over the body line. Um, underneath it, you can make out the other area is pushed outwards and in, in the white there. You'll see the two red sort of semi-circles, their ripples, their loss only you're dealing with. You just can't make everything out from the naked eye sometimes, so getting the light on it um, really shows what we've got to do. So I've picked the tools uh, I'm going to use on this dent repair today. I'm going to start off with the darker blue tabs. They flex a little bit better. Because that dent's not that sharp, it's big, it's quite soft, so the tabs that flex a little bit better would be better to start off with. When you get to the deeper bit underneath the body line there, that's gonna be a lot more stubborn, so I'll probably move on to maybe the um, dead center or the ice tabs. We'll see how that moves once the uh, repair starts coming along. Probably gonna use the robo lifter for most of it, because I don't wanna be snapping too much, only when it comes to the end and picking out the details, um, which is what I'll use the Kiko mini slide hammer for. Glue, I'm going to use Purple Dent Reaper, um, it's really strong, really good. It is cold in here today, so I'm going to be using heat a lot. Um, so the panel cooperates, flexes, keeps that paint a little bit more flexible. You don't want to risk any uh, cracking. I don't think this has been painted before, paint finish is quite nice, so I think we should be good to go. Prior to spraying it here with the 99% isopropyl alcohol, I just give it a quick polish with some cutting compound on a solid pad. Best thing to do, get it as clean as you can possibly, um, wipe it down, isopropyl alcohol, and then clean it off, heat gun it, get it up to temperature. This will give us the best adhesion for the glue. So the glue is placed on the tab, and we're now using the light board to make sure we get the placement of the tab. Uh, in the center of the dent. You don't want the edges of the tab to overlap the shoulders of the dent. You're just gonna pull up more and not pull out the center. Um, we're using the robo lifter on this pull because we want to flex it out. We don't want to snap on the first couple of few pulls. We, uh, we want to see how it's gonna move. If it is stubborn, then we'll probably move on to a slide down later on. But for now, um, you can see, just giving it a few pulls, trying to not snap it straight away. Um, wind it out the knob to release the tension. You can see there the panel's slightly moving. Um, trying to not snap it really. So, heating it up after that to uh, reactivate the glue. Because it's cold, it's going to go off quicker um, and get more brittle. So, if we warm it up, use the isopropyl alcohol to release it and uh, it comes away nice and cleanly. Here we're going to start doing some knockdown work. Um, this helps relieve the tension between traps and the panel, especially the 
find out if there's a body line nearby or it is near the edge of the panel. Doing this relieves that and will help the rest of the dent move out. So what are the six C's? Six C's are check, choose, clean, coat, correct, continue. If you follow this pretty simple method, you'll get good pulls every time. Check is checking your panel type, what it's made of. Choose, choose your tab which fits the dent. Clean, clean up the panel. Coat it with glue on your tab. Correct it, pull it, and then continue. Just follow this and uh, yeah, you'll see the results. If you watch carefully here, focusing on uh, where the actual tab is, you can see the metal actually moving and flexing around it when you're, when you're pulling it. It doesn't take much to move it, so being careful not to over pull it is pretty important. So this is after a first couple of few full pulls with the uh, darker flexible tabs. You can see even there, like a really nice big high in the middle of that. Um, looking at the shadows, you can see lows before and after it. That's the opposite of the high spot there. So what we do with that, we're gonna start blending it. Um, you can't go for everything at one time. You've got to bring some up, pull some down. So what we're gonna use now is a blending hammer and um, try and start smoothing some of that out. Once them highs start flattening out, it'll allow the lows to move easily when we start pulling it. So it's gonna be a lot of back and forth. Um, move down to some of the smaller tabs now and then Get a lot of tapping down going on. I'm gonna leave that one for a bit longer because that's gonna start flattening out quite smooth. So it'll be tougher to pull out, but once all the metal starts flowing out, it's gonna move quite nice, I think. Um, so blend hammer wise, I'm gonna use this. Um, really nice soft tips on the end of them. Uh, VIP blending tips, so. We're gonna get a bit of distance on this, stand further back, blend it out and uh, start smoothing out and get back to pulling. Here we are, probably just over halfway through. Um, lots of that big dent has come out really nice. You look close, you can start seeing all sort of little lows, shallows, a few little line spots here and there. This part of the job takes takes the majority of the time. You can pull out big dents relatively quick, doing it the right way. If we want to get this absolutely perfect, this is where we put our time in, get it nice and smooth and flat as possible get it back to how it should be. Um, it's just gonna be a bit time consuming, pick out all those little bits, but compared to where we were, it's a massive improvement. So I reckon another hour or so, get all these bits out and we'll have a good job on the rounds. So you can see we've moved on to the dead center ice tabs. These will pinpoint and pull out any of the last little lows that's left here and there. There's not much left of the dent to do. You can see it's flattening out really nice. Bit of a high area there on that bottom edge. Um, this one here that's sort of on the body line. As I just said, they're a bit more stubborn to pull out. So we want to use some of a bit more force behind it. So moved on to these, still using the same slide hammer. Um, it's been pulling out really nice, tapping it back down. We we'll moved on to a finer tap down as well, VIP. Pick out all them little bits, but you can see there it's uh, come out quite nice. Not long left. At this stage of the job, we're knocking down any very minor high spots um, that have been left up from pulling. 
PC we switched to a finer tap down um, VIP. This is super accurate, this will take anything down really cleanly. I've now swapped out the blending ammo and put the fine VIP tip on the end of this one. Same as before, using the blending ammo so we can get more distance on it, see everything lower down, pick out any of the finer details that are left and uh, fine tune and repair as good as we can. At this point, I'm pretty happy with how the repairs turned out, so I'm going to give it a quick polish, a quick compound, you can use anything really. Um, just take away any tappy down marks, clean it up, check it off and see how it looks. So I just finished up on the dent, it's come out really nice. Before we look at that, here's a quick run through what we did use. Um, tapping down paddle, two different blending hammers, soft tip and a fine tip for the tuning at the end. A couple of knockdowns that we used, um, a larger knockdown for what we got started off with. Don't need the glue, um, the key coal, mini slide hammer with the roll ball lifter, selection of tabs, didn't really use these ones, didn't need to. Started off with a big one, moved down to the smaller ones pretty quick. Um, they did the job great. Robo lifter, alcohol and the glue gun. So all the tabs and the robo lifter were all a few days. So apart from the knocking down apparatus, everything was used on the L2E system. And that's what we got it to. Come out really nice. Uh, quick polish at the end of it. No paint damage anywhere. Really clean job, done in a few hours, and a uh, good job for PDR. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video, hope you enjoyed it, um, hope you got a good insight to see how we carry out our glue pull repairs. We're based in Leyland in Lancashire and our mobile service covers the North West if you needed to come out. If you have any dent repairs you'd like a quote for or you're interested in GPR for your body shop, please feel free to get in touch.